Hello everybody, welcome to the official replay cast of the round one Group F match between Olivier Dulac and his Wood Elves and Zahu and his Skaven. That's correct, Olivier Dulac is not playing as Skaven, he's playing as Wood Elves. What an absolute shocker and what a crazy team he's chosen as well, very unique. So Olivier Dulac, if you don't know, is French. He has also been the number one rated player in the world NAF style for a long time with Skaven. And he qualified from the Vent Des Gobs League. Now, I don't know how you say that, so I just read it. I don't care that it's not correct. I know it's not correct, but there you go. And Zahu is Spanish and qualified through the Buttercup League. So there you go. Thank you. I didn't want to try and do a funny accent when I can't speak French at all. So I thought I'll go for the comedy pronunciation instead. So Olivier Dulac, it's, it's what's super interesting is, he, you know, he thinks gutter runners should be nerfed, right? Because they're ridiculously good. And he's got two sidestep catchers of his own and a tree man. So he's got one stand firm and two sidesteps. So he's got the best... Well, not the best, obviously Necromantic do, but he's got the best he can possibly have against the anti one turn, while still having two sidesteppers for his own one turn. Strip Dancer, of course, is essential. Then he's gone for a Frenzy Dancer for the other one. One Wrestle Wood Elf Lyman, only two rerolls and an Apo. And then he's taken Jump Up on the tree. What an absolute wild man. Um, that is... Just a, it's just a wild choice, isn't it? I, I can't believe that it's not like pro or block. Or it was just two primaries. So... And, you know, could have just taken sidestep on the dancer. So really, really strange choices. Excited to see how he plays the team. And uh, Zahu has gone for the standard one skill for every gutter runner. No, he hasn't. He's dropped one. He's dropped wrestle and then he's gone guard and tackle on the blitzers juggernaut absolutely standard on the roger leader on the thrower so yeah that's one that he's dropped the other one that he's dropped is the wrestle on the uh gutter it's funny that gutters tend to go just one of each and stuff isn't it so uh yeah interesting to drop the wrestle all right let's see what happens stiletto who gets that? Oh, the sidestep catcher gets stabbed. <laughs> I mean, it's not the best thing in the world, but it's pretty cool for a guy who's strength two and movement eight and sidestep. That's uh, that's pretty decent. He, he could have surfed there, couldn't he? Block there, then he would have blocked him there and blocked him there and then surf. Well, I'd say he would have, could have. Three dice, gets the full power. No idea how Skaven fare against Wood Elves, to be honest. Oof. With two rerolls, it seems dicey, doesn't it? How old Diomed? Congratulations. What an unbelievable final. Oh wow, instant cards. So we've gone we've gone KO from the one in nine into Kaz from the Blitz. Apo used. You have to base a lot here. I, I guess he's got the two stuns. So maybe you don't base this turn and then you base next turn. And maybe that's the play. It was an absolutely incredible game to watch, yep. Yep, unbelievable. Ooh. Yeah, staying two squares away from the tree. Yeah, incredible match. <laughs> Let someone else win something. <laughs> Only if he's fantastic. <laughs> the pow. Surely you just got to base him now, right? Two men up. 
you're like somewhat banging yourself. You just got a bang, haven't you? Surely, surely that's the play. Tackles a dancer. What would Mighty Blow have done? Just a stun, stun. Yeah, so we are going quite heavy. I quite like the quite heavy basing. I think I might have blitzed uh, up here to to get the two D on the rogue, like the the rogue, the foot, the two dice from the rogue on the tree, right? Maybe. But, I mean, tackling a blitz, tackling a dance is pretty incredible, isn't it? So. Oh, missed though. You get smashed. That was the first action, by the way. One in nine, loner block, blockless block. Loner first action from Olivia. Very spicy. A blockless 1D. Fails. Oh my. I guess he didn't see the guard. Right? I guess he didn't see the guard. I just think. I guess he just thought that was a 2D. Didn't see the guard behind him. Wow. Wow. Dancers tackled. Gutters behind. AV broken. Oh, the catcher gets it. He can strip it though, can't he? Maybe he shouldn't have even hit it with a block, honestly. Honestly, maybe he shouldn't have hit it with a block. Maybe he should have just gone straight for the, st the strip. Because then he would have had the blocker to pick it up afterwards. Oh, well, he failed the pick up. Wow. You could stab the tackler. <laughs> you could stab the tackler. Again, first action. Two dice. Loner, blockless. Full power. Kaz, oh my god. <laughs> what a what a start to the match. And then dodges through because he got the full power on that. Oh wow. Ugh. Blockless <laughs> the the amount of blockless blocks. Artemis would be uh loving the punish on them as well. He's failed quite a few of these. Wait, he's already blocked with the tackle? Nah. Surely not. Surely. Surely you can't be serious. You have to be hitting the dancer with tackle this turn. I guess he, unless he's going to strip it. Okay, maybe he's going to try and strip it. But I feel like hitting the dancer with tackle was pretty easy. Just gonna one D strip it. Hasn't got recovery now though, has he? And is out of rerolls. I like blitzing and then chaining him into there and then hitting him like that. <laughs> oh, the stab. Instant stuns him. Blitzes the side stepper, gets the gets the both down. Second reroll gone, and he's off. Wow, this is a wild half in like five turns. There's been a lot of dice roll. That was I mean Olivier was so close. To disaster. Yeah, he didn't start with a tree block. Outrageous. And then snaked. <laughs> Flip me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you took root. I mean, you're still going to rogue a blitz, right? No, I can strip again. Of course he can strip again. 
even though he's miles away. The thing is, he doesn't have any recovery, does he? So doing this over and over again isn't really helping a lot. Oh yeah, you get you get to roll the route first and then decide whether you actually want to block or not. Yeah. Dead. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. Wow. Fails the pickup. <laughs> what a completely mad game. Just loads of gutters have been removed. Skaven, two, two gutters, loads of Skaven have been removed, and like, somehow, somehow Olivier's basically gotten away with it right now. Oof. Another full power. <laughs> Jesus. This is completely wild. So, finally. Oh, dub skulls. <laughs> Finally, he'd like, uh, he basically consolidated then, Olivia, and then there's an instant dub skulls. And now he's in range, and it's a three dice. Into a three dice. No, a three dice into a two dice. And uh, he gets the score. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was a half a blood bowl. Like if we hadn't just come from one of the most epic chalice finals of all time, that would have been an incredible watch live. But um, that was nuts. But yeah, this is, I mean, this is a great anti one turn. You should spread out the side steppers, right? The side steppers should be shouldn't be together. It's making it easier to fill. Uh, and also, we can juggernaut the. Thing. So he probably should have had, yeah, he's probably messed this up a little bit, I would say. Because, yeah, we've put him, and then we've got two assists, push him into there, and he's got, well, pushes him forward, and he's got two assists for the second hit, yeah. So yeah, this is not good enough, he had to have, he had to have the tree in the middle and the side steppers there and there. So yeah, that was, that was a mistake by Olivier. Rolls of power, and that he doesn't have to re-roll it because he can he can fill in all of these squares. Oh, wait, was that right? So this is the that's the hit there. You're gonna block this guy. So you need one, two, three filled. You need four filled and you've got three players behind. So all three players go behind. And then this guy can't reach. So this guy has to go. Yeah, this guy has to dodge. And then this guy needs to go in and hand it off to him. So that was absolutely correct. Yeah, it looked it looked wrong, but it was completely correct, and uh, got KO'd, and used his apple. And the other guy comes back. Whew. 
The Woodies did take two removals off. Yeah, yeah. It's mad that like the Wood Elves were under the cosh for the whole half, weren't they? And just kept rolling the dice to get themselves in it. Including often blocking with the tree first every turn. <laughs> <laughs> That was a hell of a half. And the rats are still in 11? Yeah, the rats are still in 11. Yeah, he used his apple, yeah. Ooh, get the wreck. Are we dackering? It sure looks like it with the position of this roger. Is dackering good versus wood elves? Surely you should be playing conventionally versus wood elves. You're the bash team here, right? You've got a guarder, you've got a tackler, you've got the roger. Hmm. Oh, yes, move the guard next to the roger so you can use him. <laughs> Blasphemy. Well, I think it's maybe not so good against woodies. Like, some teams you can beat up, you want to beat up, right? Like, that's the thing, right? If you, can, if you can beat up a team, you want to beat it up, but it turns out we're doing something that is neither a DACA nor a conventional offense. Hangs out the strip. I mean, his work here is done right. He's just a rookie duck cutter now, so. Fouls him. Agro AF from Olivia. Wow, just makes a big line. The tackle a catcher. So I mean, this is just like an old school L stall, isn't it? Really. Oh, I wonder if he should have. Uh Gone up here as like a scoring threat. <laughs> it is quite good to have somebody behind enemy lines. Olivier is telling Zahu where he wants him to blitz, isn't he? And I'd struggle to say no. Oh, he rushes in. Okay, so the pun was to shore up with a tree. I mean, surely you've just got to roll with the tree now. The twat magnet is in session. He has to have another player next to him in case he eats it so he doesn't just have to one dice the roger. Oh my god, and he does eat it. He didn't have the player next to him. Oh no, and he's sculled. Well, I'm glad, honestly, that I didn't see this and called exactly what would happen on how rubbish the roger is. And I tell you what, I know that. I know that from a fumble clip that I think Bucky posted where, you know, the rogue was going to two dice a big guy or something and then eat its own player and then one day schooled and the exact same thing happened. Yep, this guy had to move over so that if he rolled a one, he'd bite him and he'd still have two dice into two dice. And yep, that was a big mistake not doing that. And it was still unlucky, of course, to roll the one, but he had to anticipate rolling the one. And, uh, you know, a one dice is way too risky, right? I mean, maybe he did and he just didn't care, because, like, this is still pretty solid, but I guess you got, you're getting a guy surf, which isn't great, so. 
So I guess he didn't anticipate that. <laughs> Tell you what, that was that was that was fantastically called. Wow, ten out of ten, Jim. <laughs> Roger. I mean, I guess I was just betting on the Roger, the Roger being rubbish, which is a fairly safe bet. So not, maybe not that clever, but still. Yeah, maybe, maybe Rainer, maybe. Maybe. But like, you kind of wanted it out of your way, right? So you could move to the other side of it. That's the thing. Jump up, Trey. <laughs> he gets to jump up anyway, doesn't he now? But I mean, if you are hitting it, you have to have the guy to activate him so he doesn't just uh, 1D, right? But yeah, there was an argument for not hitting him at all. Or just dodging away from him and stuff with a Rauga. Try to blitz through, through that guy anyway and just try and dodge away from him. Getting on in turns now to turn 13 next turn for Zahu. He's going to want to go through at some point. Like, he does have sure hands, doesn't he? So the stripper isn't so scary. Just going for the line strat here. Everything in a big, long, straight line. At least not trying to go. I think he had to... Well, I mean, maybe not right because he's rats, but... The problem here is the thrower is like a player down, right? Because the thrower can't do anything. <laughs> like, because he can't dodge at all. He can't go through anywhere. And so he's just going to have to hand off straight away. And then when he does, then the gut runner can get stripped. This is very tough for Zahu. I think he should have played a normal drive, but I mean, that would have been a bit tricky too. He's been absolutely dominated here. And like he's regressed into a full Dakar, hasn't he? Instead of just starting in one. So, like, taking multiple turns of punishment to end up behind where you'd want to be in a DACA seems suboptimal, to say the least. Yeah, this is the problem. Now he gives it to him and he just gets stripped. <laughs> Four plus to two D stripping with dodge. Or he just doesn't bother and, uh, you know, keeps the stripper back as a safety and just generally gets in the way, whichever way he likes, however he prefers. Looks like he isn't going to bother too much about it. But I think if that was the play, the stripper should have gone back to here, like first action. Or was this guy, was he base, was this guy here already? Well, in that case, yeah, fair enough. In that case, fair enough to do the blitz. Or did he push into a three? Whatever it was, surely you go back with this guy, seeing as you're not blitzing with him. Yeah, yeah, keep him central. You movement eight, just keep him central. Oof. Starts with a 3 2, and then a 1 D, which does get the power for the, the move out.
<laughs> a million two pluses. And a three two two. Wow, the dice rolls on this turn. This is outrageous. Outrageous stuff. I mean he did leave it on, but there was still uh there was still a lot of dice rolls, weren't there? Yeah, these guys are essentially doing nothing, right? I have them stopping the breakthrough, not just standing around saying hello afterwards. That was a lot of dice, yeah, that was a hell of a lot of dice. Yeah, the weird mid I did not like the weird midfield screen, no. No, 100% did not like weird mid screen. Thing. I also don't like random three dice. <laughs> Blockless block. <laughs> Fails the leap. Wow. Gets the pow. So it's just some twos to score. Oh, he jimmed it. He jimmed it. Though, to be fair, when I jimmed it, I made one critical two plus roll in the entire half. Whereas uh, he just passed about 14 of them. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Rainer. I agree. I agree. That was 11 Wood Elves. Yeah. And... Yep. Fails the pick up. Wow. I wonder how they'll both feel after that match. That was a weird one, wasn't it, right? Like, Olivier down two woodies on turn one, scrambling for the whole half, blocking with his first action with his tree all the time, somehow kept getting the ball back. Zahu kept going for the strip without recovery because he'd lost two gutters. And then, like, somehow Olivier gets the score, the one turn fails, and then that half happens, uploads of players, does a weird midfield. I, it's weird, it was such a weird game. Um, but there you go. Uh, I don't know if Olivier will think he was lucky he won, or Zahu will feel he was lucky, you know, he was really unlucky he lost, or how, how they'll think about it, you know. Maybe, maybe Olivier will just think, yes, I played well, and I. I deserve the win. Like, I really don't know how they'll feel about that. Because, I mean, that was a hell of a lot of dice from Zahir on turn 15, wasn't it? Um, it was a wild one. Right. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And, uh, oh, sorry. Congratulations, Olivia, of course. And commiserations, Zahir. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.